Oh, yeah, they do for do. I just spent my soul mate in a stolen coop. The contact I for I. Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Abhijit and you're watching Code Keen. So in this video, we will see how we can add Elasticsearch to our Django application. So let me first tell you what is an Elasticsearch. So Elasticsearch is a very performance scalable searching search engine in your the document if such suppose if you have a very big data if you have a very huge data if you want to uh, perform searches in your the data then elastic search will be a very good option because uh, your normal querying cannot give that much better result which elastic search can give so first of all we will install the elastic search in our system uh, right now i'm using windows system but the most of the things are same for the other system as well so let's install so what elastic search uses java for the uh, for for running so you have to install jdk in your the system so i suppose if you are learning elastic search then you can easily install jdk and uh, add part to your system environment so uh, you can download jdk from here and uh, just install add your environment part to the system settings so first after this has been done you can go to the download page of your the elastic search you can search for the elastic search download you can you will eventually get a page then what you can do is you can download so i have already installed elastic search so i won't uh, download uh, let after you get a zip file in your elastic search just create a folder in your c drive and just name whatever you want i have name elastic underscore search then just extract that zip file okay so once you start as extract the zip file you will get all the folders and the files which you need to run the elastic search then just open your bin okay after running your bin just open the command prompt or i will use git bash to create a separate uh, kind of uh, command prompt so just run elastic search dot bat what it will uh, let's suppose uh, elastic search dot pad may maybe uh, i can start with the command prompt get bash so what you have to do is you have to just type elastic search dot bat okay so it will just run the server on your system on the port 9200 it's a default port which elastic search uses it will take some sort of time to it will take some sort of time to just run the boot up the server but uh, you can wait for this okay let's wait for the system let's wait for the elastic search to get uh, things done matlab boot up the server so now our server is running and let's see a port we can run localhost 9200 and if you are seeing this your elastic search is now up and running so let's start a building application first of all let me give you the boilerplate which i have created so there is an application which i name elastic and there is a home application in which there is a model and in model we have two fields uh, class elastic demo that have title and content okay and in settings.py i have add home so let's again go to the views so first view what it does is we ha i have uh, to generate some random data of uh, blog post of content of title i have used this api news api to generate uh, random news where i can filter search and other stuff so what it does is it uh, first of all it i have installed request library just to get data from this particular api so first of all i have request dot get this url then just load the data in the text in json format and just iterating through this and creating the elastic demo objects dot create or in which i have passed title and the content okay so let's up first of all run this uh, okay let's again run this and it will take some sort of time just to create the data okay now it's creating the data and let me open you the 
admin panel of this app okay so so as you can see we have got 80 data created up and running and uh, let me open one data for you so this is the title and uh, this is the news heading description what you can say so now we will run a search elastic search on this particular uh what you can say particular uh, model so first of all we need to install two packages uh, uh one first one is django elastic search dsl this one is a package we need, which we need to install so what you can do is pip install elastic dsl so i have already installed this package so i won't affect okay requirement already satisfied now what we have to do we have to add this particular in our settings.py and installed app setting so what we can write django elastic search underscore dsl uh, there shouldn't be this one okay elastic dsl now again we need to add one more thing django elastic search dsl underscore drf this one so we need to again install this thing also django elastic search dsl drf so it <coughs> So you can install this package from here Django pip install Django elastic DSL DRF. Okay. So we will use rest framework also. So you can do pip install Django rest framework and then eventually add rest framework in this library. Rest underscore framework. Okay. So now this things are done and uh, let's again run our application weapon uh, python manage.py run server <coughs> uh, I hope I have uh, written something wrong Django elastic search underscore DSL and Django elastic search underscore dsl underscore drf okay so what we need to now we need to add the elastic search port which can consume the elastic search okay so we will write elastic search underscore dsl equal to will uh, type the dictionary default so it should take a default port and uh, it should the host will be local host and the port will be 9200 because uh, it's a default port for elasticsearch 9200 so let's again re rerun our server <coughs> so i hope everything is uh, up and running so let's create our documents.py file and our home app so what document.py file does let me tell you first let me create this one okay so we have to tell elasticsearch how our modeling is done how our data is stored so we need to tell elasticsearch that uh, this title is a cache field and this content is a text field and if we have some other field like date field or a foreign key so we need to tell elasticsearch to that our data is like this and you need to create your shards like this one okay so we have created a documents.py you can name anything but i would like to name it like documents.py so first of all let's import something from uh, django ds django elasticsearch dsl so from django underscore elasticsearch underscore dsl we need to import uh, we need to import three things and the first one is document and another one will be fields and the last one will be index okay 
so we have imported now we have to import our model so from dot models import elastic demo then again uh, we need to uh, assign the name of the index uh, let's let's imagine you create a sql database you need you name some database like student like elastic demo so we need to name the database name in elastic search also so the name will be we can write it over here public publisher sorry uh p u b l i s h r underscore index it should be uh index and the name of uh, this one will be elastic demo let's again elastic demo and uh, publisher index dot settings dot settings when we need to <coughs> tell how many shards it should create so what is a shard the shard is a unit at which elastic search distribute data around the cluster so it's something like that so it creates the replicas of your uh, database and we need to add number of shards so number of shards s h a r d s shards equal to one and the number of replicas should be also one now we need to add a decorator publisher index dot doc underscore type okay and we name this as a news document document and it will just inherit from documents okay so first of all we have a field we have three fields first one is the id field another one is a title field and the third one is a content field so first of all uh, id field will be id is equal to fields dot integer field that will definitely an integer field and the name will be what uh, attribute will be equal to id and then we have a title field so title fields is a char field we can uh, as we have mentioned so fields dot text field and in that field we can write it over here dot it should treat it as a raw field okay so raw and the type will be of keyword okay and another field is like content field so we can copy this one also and uh, this one could should be also this one this one is perfectly fine now we need to add the model which model it's it, it, it is assigned so we can add class django and it takes the object and the model is like elastic demo so our documents and document is ready so if we have more field then definitely we have to add more field over here but right now we have only two field first one is a title and another one is a content so this will work fine so let's again back to our serializer we need to create a serializers also serializers dot dot py serializers dot py so first of all we need to import the model from dot model import elastic demo and then we need to import a serializer from django dsl elastic search dsl okay so from django underscore elastic underscore dsl underscore drf dot serializer import document serializer document serializer so and again we need to import a document from dot documents import all and we, we will create a class news document serializer and it will definitely inherit from document serializer so first of all we need to add the meta class as we know django this framework has a meta class so meta and the model is like elastic demo and document is news document okay and the it's documents okay and the fields which we need to add 
equal to all it's all is just like a django uh, serializer okay and the content okay so we can add one method get uh, underscore location take self and obj it will return obj dot location So our serializer is also ready. If we have to create a Django REST framework serializer, we do this stuff and the same stuff we have to, we are doing in a Django DSL serializer. Okay. So let's again move to our views and uh, in views, what we need to do, we need to create a uh, class which can uh, take uh, the documents and the model and serialize the data according to the search filter. So let's create a uh, let's uh, let's import let's create a class first of all let's import our document view set serializer uh, sorry document view set okay then uh, import let's import our document view set so we need to write to from django underscore elastic dsl drf dot fill Elastic dot drf dot view set. Maybe I have forget. Uh, what was it called? <laughs> view sets. Maybe import document view set. Let's uh, now let let's now create a class. Class. Uh, Publisher document okay and it will inherit document view set so the document which it will use it will be a news document and a serializer class it will use is a news document serializer okay so let's again import all the things from documents import all from serializer import all from dot documents from dot serializers import all so we have imported all the things let's uh, import some filtering option which are available in django dsl drf so let's again build filter down from django underscore elastic search dot dsl dot drf dot fill So we have imported all the things. Let's again add the filter backend which we are going to use. So the filter backend will be uh, backends, and the first one will be filtering. Filter backend and the another one which we are using is compound. Okay. So the search field will be there. Will they are only two search field. So we have to add all the search field on which the elastic search will search upon so search fields will be uh, only two field first one will be, will be a title and another one will be a content okay now we ha we can also add a multi match it will multiply match all the data which we are going to filter out so we can add multi match search underscore fields okay and again title again here it should be content 
let's again add some filter fields because uh, the search field we can also perform filters so we can add filter fields equal to the first one will be a title and it should be the name of the thing is called title and content is what okay so now our uh, elastic search view is now created let's again add this particular view to our urls pattern so to add this in a url pattern we need to go in a urls.py file in the main application the main root of the application so let's go in this urls.py and just add it over here so we can add what path will be of search slash publish document dot view dot as view and we are only only using one get method so we can write get underscore of list so uh, everything is now done so let's create the indexing i think uh, filter there will be a typo mistake over here when which file it's in the uh, views.py line number seven views.py line number seven it should be filter backend okay so we have uh, missed the comma over here Uh, what it is cannot import name compound backend filter mm, where the heck oh sorry here it is compound search filter backend okay so we will use this here compound search filter backend so i think it should work now so now we have to create the indexes for uh, the data the data which we have already stored in our database so we need to index create index and shards of that replicas of the data in elastic search so to do to do that we need to run a command python manage dot py search underscore index hyphen hyphen rebuild okay so it will just create one more replica shards of the database so that's yes so as you can see it's creating the indexes for elastic demo and again we can view what indexes it has created so let me show you an example uh, again let's go to our port localhost nine two double zero and uh, the name of the last tick underscore demo so here are the indexes it it what it does in the background so the mapping is uh there is a title field and there is a content field and the content field is of type text and the title field is of type text and we have if we have other field we it has already also created a mapping of that particular so uh indexing is created okay uh, we can see indexing of 80 elastic demo object is created so what we can do we can run python manage.py run server so let's go to the url again search so these are the data which are uh, which we are getting so let's again search for the data so what we can do is we can add the search parameter over here s e a r c h and we can pass it over here so uh, again sorry <laughs> i have a, a, it should be a question mark over here okay so as you 
seeing we are getting the data which have uh, tesla inside it so tesla is over here tesla is over here tesla may be over here so uh search is also working if we can search for uh, something like elon musk and what we get okay so as you are seeing our uh, search is now working so what if we have to search on the title so title contains equal to tesla so it will just return the title in which title has a tesla 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 and we can again search for the apple so we have got so many data which have apple in their title apple apple over here opel over here so this is a small project where which teach you how you can integrate elastic search in django and trust me you can build a lot of complex queries and uh, it will definitely make sense so if you haven't subscribed my channel please do subscribe my channel and uh, let's meet you in the next video goodbye